Well, hello. Welcome to episode three. We're getting ever closer to the big... We're getting very close to the big standoff between Trevor and Liam. Um, yeah. Welcome to episode three. Thank you for all the support in episode one and two. You guys have been killing it. I appreciate you. Anyway, here's episode three. Enjoy. I got, you, I got you, brother. I got you. I got you, brother. I got you, brother. We'll get you to build box in a hurry here. What up? The locals come out and shoot at ya? Oh, I pressed the wrong muscle driving. I was trying to hang up the phone. Oh, you, you ejecto cito Ejecto cito cuz. Oh, God, that ain't good, brother. No, right into a barricade. Yeah, I got you. We'll get you down to the pillbox. We'll get you fixed up. You know how it goes, man. So, uh, what do you need to talk to me about since we get a lot of privacy here on this uh, drive? Moscow's in jail. What's he in jail for? What did he do this time? He threatened to kill the assistant chief. Threatened to kill the assistant? Uh, he put a bounty on the assistant chief's head. Well, that definitely isn't fucking good. No. How long is he in for? Um, from what he could tell me, 9,999 months. Man, that's a goddamn lifetime. Yeah, uh, well, so I have to break him out. That's gonna take some planning, man. That ain't something that you know you just you know uh, you know just go and do. No. It's gotta be planned. We have to go talk to the man up there and get any inside info we can get out of him. Not just that. I also need to talk to Brian. Uh, what are you gonna talk to Brian about? Uh, 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 uh. Oh! <clears throat> Holy shit. Let me go lock that gate. Trying to call him and tell him if he can get enough distance to pull in here. Yeah. Where they wouldn't see him and I'd just walk away and close the gate. He ain't answering, so, uh. Now let me go into whisper. <clears throat> yeah? So, I don't know what's going on with. Uh, I don't know where he is, so. I don't know. But. So yeah, Wasco got captured, and I have to break him out. I can't let my man rot in there. Got you back, man. All you and, have to do is tell me what you want me to do, and I'll, uh, I'll make it happen. You and I, yeah, I know, and I feel like the assistant chief is behind it and put bullshit charges on him. You think the assistant chief would do something like that? Come on, you and I both know the assistant chief is corrupt. Well, yeah, he's been giving money away to criminals for how long? And he's been trying to lock me in jail for, I mean... 
for a long time and put bogus charges on me. Admittedly, uh, True too. admittedly, I, I, admittedly, I, I did do it. Well, he did send me for <clears throat> after the chief sent me for a period for something. The assistant chief did do me dirty and sent me for 120 months. Yeah, but yeah, I don't know what's going on, but I think Thursday is the day we assault the prison. Okay, well then we need to do some research to, you know, we get do. up there and, uh, you know, try to talk to Roscoe and <clears throat> make a plan on how we're going to get in there. Mm -hmm. Now, by my understanding, he's going to wake up in about a few hours. That's when he wakes right. up, so apparently he's a night person in the jail. It's just a lot quieter. Yes, he does. <clears throat> so all I have to do is just wait for him to call me because he's already got a phone inside. All right. Um, let me know, um, you know, the time and what you need me to specifically do. And uh, I mean, I'm a decent pilot. I'll do whatever. It is, whatever I mean, I yeah. probably come up with the equipment to try to do the uh, gates themselves, but. <laughs> I know uh, we were playing around with it one day. You mess up once, and that thing locks down, and like it, it like dead bolts those locks, and I mean dead bolts them. Yeah, and it's like <clears throat> the issue is, is assault in the prison isn't going to be easy. No, it's not. <sighs> can you land a helicopter? I, I, I yes. Want to say we can land a helicopter in there? If we have a decent pilot, we can land it in the yard. Oh, I can pilot that bird without a problem. I'll put us down right wherever you tell me to put it down in there, and I won't tear it up. Or between me and you. Let me know what time. I'll go get you. Yeah. I, I can go get your helicopter right now and, and, and take you up there and show you. But between me and you, there might be a time and date. I say a time and date. A time where... I think something else could happen in there. Okay. I feel like the assistant chief is messing with us. You know what I mean? <clears throat> I have a feeling he's defending. He's trying to get to me through Wasco. Because I'm the one. F still running from the cops. Yeah. That with all these sirens I think so. I am the one thing he wants. He's never been able to arrest me. And he wants me. Bad. Not even the date style of wants me. You know what I mean? Yeah. Well, <clears throat> you know what we need to do and what I need to do specifically. I mean, you can email me or whatever. It, you know, call my phone, wake my ass up, whatever yeah. it takes. Can you do me a massive favor? Because I feel like the morphine is kicking my ass right now and I think I need to lay down. When when Brian gets undone from you know unfucking himself, can you tell him the information I've passed on to you? Of course I can. And tell him that I need to talk to him either later today when I wake up or tomorrow. Not a problem. I'll definitely pass that on to him. <clears throat> All right, I'm just gonna head out and pass out in one of these streets. Oh, uh, dude, sleep in the uh, sleep in the uh, camper. Are you I, sure? I can show you how. Yeah. Hey. Hey, what's up? Just pulling into the prison now. All right. Yeah, so I was just informed by Miss McFly that you can get really close to the fence and be able to pass things through. Really? If you drive around in the back of prison, I will show you where. There's some gates that they leave unlocked. You can walk right up to the outer fence. I don't know my way around the back now. There's a guard tower. You see a panto that she rented and left back there to show me. Right there.
she was most helpful, I must say, when she told me about this. Because I no longer have to be afraid of the other inmates. If you see what I'm holding. Yeah. Hi. Hey. So have you uh, discovered anything inside the jail? I've figured out how to fix phones. I've got a pocket full of them. I've been to Santa Claus' of cell phones with people coming in. Mr. Bojangles, he's inside right now. He was kind enough after I gave him a phone to take a helicopter <laughs> and fly me in some burger shop. That's nice of him. Yeah. So now uh, I was talking to Andy, and she thought you needed the spoon to fix the phone. And when I told her no, she drove around and gave me two spoons and said, well, if you can figure out what to do with them, you let me know. Hmm. So since I got time, I'm going to take me a look around, because unfortunately when the storm comes through, it's going to clean out my pockets. Does it really? It did last time. Okay. But even if I pass you a gun right now, there's no point. Right, right. So actually, since that's the case, let me do this. Let me give you that. She gave me two. So if my pockets get wiped, I can call you and... uh bring me that one back you know what I mean yeah because that right there is a thousand dollars worth of spoon she just gave me so I feel like I owe her trying to figure out how to get out yeah this is certainly interesting yes yes it is honestly I'm not a hundred percent sure if I'm supposed to be able to get through these gates being unlocked but she said it's perfectly fine so I mean, I guess it's perfectly fine since they're, you know, they're unlocked. Well, I mean, you know, with the locking systems and all. But it's not a gate that says that it's locked, so... There's that, too. Huh. Uh -huh. They, they let you know when they're locked. Oh, that doesn't sound too good. What are you hearing that I'm not? I just heard somebody scream inside over there. Oh, yeah, yeah. He don't stop. He goes all day. I had a, a guard commit suicide on me earlier. I was sitting on the benches out by the basketball court, and he dove right off the roof. All I heard was a scream behind me. I turned around and looked, and he splatted on the ground. Shit. Sure. But, yeah, I will get you out. I appreciate that. Toretto was up here earlier with John. Yeah. You know, he wants to wants to clear his debt with me of the forty thousand he owes me by breaking me out. I told him to get with you, and if he can manage to get me free, then I'll call our debt settled. Yeah. Well, I would have been around for that meeting, but I was in a car crash. Well, I was I was in a car I was in a bit of a car accident. John had to take me to the hospital. I was a bit doped up on morphine. Yeah, he said you were you were doped all up on morphine and had to stay at the hospital for a while, so. Yeah, because he crashed and sent me flying. Hell yeah, it happens. But he says, not in my eyes. Bullshit, I became Mary <laughs> fucking Poppins. Or, or as yeah, I shout, I became Mary motherfucking Trevor Dean. <laughs> You'd be surprised how many people have tried to break me out of prison so far. I'm one of you. <laughs> I bet they're all amused by you saying no. That is... The it gets strange looks like Bojangles is going to break me out. And when I said no thanks, I'm going to serve my time like a good boy. He uh, he offered to bring me back Burger Shop. Huh. And just yesterday when all of this all went down and I first got sentenced, Oliver sent the helicopter in after me. Apparently yeah. he wanted to get his money. You know, I'm still kind of shocked that he managed to pull that off. By the way... <clears throat> yeah. So somebody gave Natalie my number. I don't know who that is. Cause Only person I, I can think of is Ivan. You know what, let me I call mean, Ivan. Yeah, because I don't know Natalie, so... I've only met Natalie down once. You believe that motherfucker, Assistant Chief, came in here and shaved my head? Made what me a look bastard. like a bootleg Slim Shady. Hang on a moment.
Oh, looks like Ivan's not gonna pick up. Go. Oh. Oh, bollocks. Yeah, I would shut up for once in his life. Yeah? Find him. Maybe he's got an answer for me on the spoon. Maybe that's why he's screaming, because he can't find a spoon. But yeah, yeah, you see this? You see this haircut? Yeah. Yeah, that's the assistant chief. Told me if I didn't give up who wanted him taken, he's going to shave my head. Look like a bootleg ass Slim Shady. <clears throat> no, it's it's concerning. That's for damn sure. Yep. It's concerning that you know these charges are bogus, and you, you we know that. I tried to explain that to uh, Officer Bill, telling him that you know. One, this is abuse of power, put me in here this long you know, on an indefinite charge. And also, none of the tweets even suggested that he be kidnapped or harmed in any way. Yeah. So, Brian and John, did they come to here as well, the back percent fence? They didn't. I, I accidentally found a door that makes you break through a wall, and it's kind of a mess. But. I corrected it. They they ran to the front and couldn't find me because they didn't know I had a phone. And I don't have Toretto's number. I only have John's number. So. But yeah, they fit, they met me up front. There's a wall there where if you stand up on a roof, you get just close enough so you can hear each other. Yeah. If, you, if you fall through the wall. But now that I know about this spot back here, it's even better. Hold on, Scotty's calling me. Yeah. It was just yep. in here. Still up here? Yeah, I'm at the backside of the prison talking to Roscoe. I'm at the very back of the prison. You see my car and a blue panther. Run and go get him? Nah, I told him to come around. Out. Damn. Hey, Scotty. Hey, man. Nice seeing you on that side of the fence for once. <laughs> right. Yeah, so. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take me this spoon and I'm gonna walk around and see if I can't find me a poster of Rita Hayworth and tunnel my way out of this bitch. Who's this? Who is that? That doesn't look good, does it? <laughs> um... Okay. <laughs> I'm getting out of here. Alright. Hey. What up? Me and Scotty had to leave the backside of the prison. Why? Um, a muscle car came, like a, looked like a cop car came flying around like a bat out of hell. Really? Yeah. Alright, alright. So I'm on the hill, the big hill to the left side of the prison. 
We're locking into the prison. I'm not just watching it right now. All right. Is that that cop still around or? Not a fucking clue. Me and Scotty got spooked enough to leave. Cause I just ran around the outside edge of the prison there looking for you guys, and I come up to a door that said you were escaping prison. <laughs> Run fast. Really? So I just turned and ran back in the gate. And it did not use the said spoon. Hmm. So, I'm going to try running back around that area real quick here. Let's see if it says yeah. that to me again. Nope. No, nah, nothing that time. Really? Yeah, I better go put myself in a spot where they're not going to... Uh, I think it was me that was trying to get out because I don't need them watching me like that, you know? Yeah. I don't need that kind of headache in my life. Yeah, Bojangles, he uh, he was climbing up on the roof. Yeah. And he, uh, he fell through one of the roof panels and that was, uh, he's stuck inside a building he can't get out of now. Oh shit. You know, this whole prison break thing, it might look complicated, but it should go up easily. Yeah, you think it's gonna go pretty smooth? I have an idea, bro. What's that? And actually, Scott, me and Scotty both said it. Obviously, we need a distraction at the front of the prison. About an angry mob. Yep. The protesters. Refusing to allow the police in. Who in the city has the biggest agenda against the police? Andy. Does she really now? They, are, they, threw her, they put her in jail. They let her but go yeah. inside. And they locked the gates behind and told her she was under arrest. Really? Either that, I'll sell my soul and call, ask for the Karens. Ugh. Not the Karens. Well, I mean, if it's got to be the Karens, it's got to be the Karens, but... I'm gonna... God, I hope not. I'm gonna mention around the city and see what I can draw up. You know what I mean? Yep, yep. Because there has to be more than just Karens. True. Just the Karens isn't going to get you very far. But, you know, I mean, it's a start. And I'm sure, I'm sure if you ask the Karens, they know enough pissed off people to, <clears throat> to bring in a little more, uh, Assistance. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, indeed. Yeah, I'm just watching the prison now. Alright. I'm just watching it from the top. Just, you know, keep an eye and see what it's doing. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just running around the outside of the prison walls, just trying to use my spoon. You know what I mean? Yeah. Hoping that maybe something something happens here, you know what I mean? Yeah, I get that. Then, you know, I probably I'm I want to find this so badly because I want to get out so I can tweet Mr. Uh, Mr. Jones and tell him to come up to the prison to visit me so I can visit him on the outside of the walls. <laughs> You know what I mean? Yeah. I don't know that. But how funny would that be? Hey. Why don't you come up here for a visit? Thought you could hold me? Can't hold me. I'm Moscow motherfucking Jenkins. <laughs> God damn, it's surprised it's not been nighttime yet. Yeah. I, if, I swear to God, if this guy says over to the intercom one more time, 
to save intimate assault for the nighttime or the showers, I'm going to lose my mind. <laughs> that's the only part of this that's hard for me. Listening to him repeat that same bullshit over and over and over again. Don't worry, we'll get you out as soon as we can. Well, like I say, I really want to I want to find my way out because I want Mr. Jones to come up here and visit me. <laughs> you know what I mean? I found the perfect way to lure him up to the jail now. How's that? You ask him to phone to come visit you. Right? We swoop in. Bang. Get you out. Yeah? Bob I mean, that... is your uncle. I mean, I'm sure he'd come up to visit. We use his ego against him. Right? He's he's too dumb not to come up here. Uh, I, I Am I hearing sirens? Yeah. Highway. wonder if they're coming for me. I've just seen you one pass, by the way. <laughs> I'm doing my exercises. Yeah, look behind you up on the hill. Yeah. <laughs> See you up there. You look like a fucking ant to me. <laughs> I feel like a damn ant stuck down here. Yeah, no, don't. No, like I said, we'll get you out by Thursday. Well, I'd appreciate that. I know, and you know, it's gonna take time, but bear with us. Wait, hold on. Is the police coming to the jail? I don't know. I'm getting my ass back inside, though, before they do. All right, let me hang this phone up before right. they, uh, they yeah, come no in no here. Problem. Yeah, later. Thank you very much, ladies and gents, for watching this episode. Uh, the next episode, we're going to upload every episode on a Monday. Um, till then, I appreciate you all. Thank you for watching. Like, share, comment and subscribe. Stay safe.